hello guys welcome back to the channel i am your host agu joseph so in this video i'll be sharing with you how you can achieve this type of fly design in photoshop please this design is not mine a student of mine reached out to me that how can she achieve this kind of design so i intend to show you how you can basically achieve this type of design but before doing that i'd like you to have this in mind that what actually makes us different as individuals or as graphic designer has to do with our ability to do things in our own way not uh, taking out other people's look please always have that in mind you don't actually create design the way you see others create it it is actually good if you're actually learning okay to just replicate design but i always advise you that while learning in the process always learn uh, create room for doing things in your own way not always doing things verbatim the way it was done in the original design so find a way to bring out the creativity in your own self and uh see your own self in your own design that's what i'm trying to say in essence okay so before i dive into this if you're coming across this channel do well to uh smash the subscribe button please to support the channel and give this video a like if you gain value at the end of this video okay so uh here is uh, my layers basically okay i started off uh by working with resources i have with me okay so i had to go online to source out images such as uh, the fire image like this and i basically i'll be using that to create this i'll be explaining the whole process to you so i have to turn off this layer the first layer here has to do with uh, changing uh the fill color of your canvas this design was created using uh, the social media portrait frame size, which is 1080p by uh, 1350. So you can come over to file, click on new and set it as follows. Okay. Set your unit in pixels 1080 by 1350. Resolution can be set on 300. Color mode can be set on RGB. You then go ahead to click on create. That is in terms of that. So moving on. We have already created the solid field. So how do you go about that? You head over to your adjustment and click on solid color and give it the color of your choice. But here I made use of a little value of hash here. Here's hex code F4, F4, F4 in three places. So the next thing I did here was to introduce this layer here. This is more like, uh, okay, this is more like a texture layer. I got this from Google. So I just have to be creative about this. So I got this and I basically changed this to this and reducing the opacity to about 49%. Uh, percent. I also got this from, I think from pngwings.com. That's where I basically got most, most of my icons. So I didn't, I was unable to get this. So I have to just do with what I have. So just for illustration purpose. So I placed one here, made the duplicate and placed the other here as well. So you can see we have one here and I scaled down the other here. The next thing I did was to place in the, uh, the image of the pastor. So I don't, I can't actually find uh, this particular image. So I have to just improvise with what I have. So after placing in the image, I had to uh, head over to camera raw and apply the camera raw filter. So select the layer, uh, make sure you have right click and convert it to a smart object to maintain quality, head over to filter and apply the camera raw. So over here in the camera raw, I basically enhance the uh, the look of this image by working on the details, setting this as follows. Likewise, the basics. Always take note that when working with the camera raw, there are no rules. So it is more of an eyeballing situation. You allow your eyes to actually guide you to make the right decision so that uh, you won't have an oversaturated image or an overexposed image. So you play with the sliders to um, see how the image looks. Okay, you can also enable uh the before and the after so that you have a good preview of how the image was looking like before while uh making those adjustments so i think if you are done you click on your ok button that is in terms of that so that is in terms of working on this subject image so the next thing i did here was to start placing in the information which has to do with the header okay i started with this to be precise and for this i made use of a font call uh, steel fish i think the link to that will be in the video description do it also check that and uh, for the other lines of text i also made use of uh, uh, the same font okay now why making use of this font i don't know if most of you have come across 
uh what we refer to as a uh, is it glimpsy i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well is it gimfis i don't know if i'm actually pronouncing it well it's time to be corrected so basically when i typed in this first letter this was not giving me this f uh this style of f but this uh glimpsies i don't know basically allows you to uh change style of characters basically so if you don't have it on your panel here you can enable it from your windows and click on it you have it here but please take note that this is not available for every font some fonts has different styles for a, a, for a particular character so it depends on the font you are using so don't expect you using another font you might have uh, uh, varieties of uh, different uh, characters so here it has this and over here as well uh -huh, it also has this you can see it if i double click on it the f has changed to this so i had to select it and come over here and do what select the style i need just double click on it and you have this looking like that so that is another way you can go about playing with the look of what this because we are working with how the original design looks like okay this is the original design so you get the idea of what i'm trying to do here so that is in terms of that so i replicated uh, the same technique on this so i went ahead to also create a rectangle here to create room for contrast because i intend to place in this other set of information which you have over here like this okay so i had to create contrast because this image from this uh, design here you, you notice that this actually was placed in the shape of white because uh to in order to create contrast and visibility uh for the message to actually stand out from what from this particular side of uh, the subject image so that was the essence of that okay so that was in terms of that so moving on i went ahead to work on the date so over here i created a rectangle i placed in the text in here but uh, all i had to do next after creating the rectangle using what the rectangle tool i created a rectangle normal rectangle and over here on my property please if yours is not available here you can also enable it from this particular windows panel okay so over here you can basically give your shape what a curve basically your rectangle can come in form of this okay so over here you can choose to now give it a rounded curve or not it all depends on you okay so take note of that so that is in terms of that so i'll delete this and i went further after giving the shape a curve i went further to give it a a, a gradient fill in it so all i had to do was to double click on it and expand uh, to layer style over here i clicked on gradient overlay and here i will show you the preset here are the preset i use in setting these styles linear angle 65 but for the gradients i have to click on the gradient and set it as follows for this i clicked here and give it this particular color feel here's the hex code for this i clicked on this and give it this particular hex code here's the color for that so this is positioned on 31 this is positioned on 100 and the opacity are set on 100 100 respectively for each of these colors okay that is in terms of that so i think uh this is actually good and we'll click on okay so moving on i think we're done with the date so i move up uh, by looking at uh, which other information which has to do with uh, the time okay so i start by placing in this rectangle so i basically i just created another rectangle just like this okay normal perfect rectangle without the curve initially okay it basically comes without the curve okay give it the rounded edge first okay hit ctrl t okay right click and click on i think it was uh, was it skew yeah skew so i'll just do this this way huh holding alt and shift it just enables me to uh, change the perspective of the shape this way then going uh moving forward click on ok and apply uh, gradients okay so i i use the same technique i use in applying this gradient to this all i have to do was just to double click on the shape that was in terms of that so that is in terms of that so i click on this here is the layer i double click on it head over to layer styles over here we have the gradient to so set this as follows and here is the colors over here 
I have this color here to be precise. Y over here as well. I have this color to be precise. That is in terms of that. So this is position on 98. This is position on what 16. Opacity. The opacity is set on 100, respectively. That is in terms of that. Click on OK. That was how I was able to achieve that. So I went ahead to place in uh, the number using the font to be precise. Still the same font uh, for this. Okay. For this I use Bebas. And for this, I just made a duplicate of this of this particular text. So I just hit Ctrl J to make a duplicate and take this here. Pick my text tool from my tool panel here, and just basically edit this to zero. So after editing this to zero, all I have to do next was to right click and convert. Uh, I think I converted it to a shape. Yeah, I converted it to a shape. So after converting it to a shape. All I had to do was to zoom into the design again. And uh, what did I do? I pick up this particular tool called uh, Path, uh, I think, Direct Selection. So all I had to do was uh, basically, sorry, was basically selecting around this side from this end here, all the way to where we have this uh, anchor point. After I'm done, with it, all I have to do was to use the direction. On my keyboard that is the up direction key to extend it upwards okay so i just use the up direction key to extend it upwards okay to give it this particular feel here that we have here okay so that was how i was able to change uh the structure of uh, the zero from the regular zero to that so i have to stretch it up that is in terms of that placing in the date here control zero to fit to screen okay enabling this other layer so i just made a duplicate and uh, after that also placed in this other set of information in these various uh, places like this as well so that was how i was able to achieve this then if i zoom in close to here you notice something as well here you notice that a part of this text was taken out because of what a rectangle i created okay so I created a rectangle using what this rectangle. So I just right click, select the rectangle, uh, create a rectangle of my choice. Then all I have to do, hit Ctrl T, then do what? Rotate the angle, holding shift to, to an angle of uh, 90 degree. Place it directly to the uh, the to this particular text here. We have what? We have this layer. You can see it here. Okay. So all I have to do is just place it over here. Now we have the, the rectangle uh, having this size. So we have our shape here. The next thing we have to do here was to hit, hold control, left click. When you hold control on the keyboard and move your mouse pointer close to uh, this particular icon here in your icon of your rectangle, just left click. It makes a quick selection of that particular shape while holding control when you left click. Come over here to select, click on modify and click on expand. Then you can then choose to give it maybe 10 pixels of expansion. Then click on OK. You see what happens. This basically expand the radius of selection. OK, so all I have to do after getting the perfect uh, size by using that uh, expansion, all I have to do was to uh, add a max layer. OK. So I added the max layer and uh, used Ctrl I to invert it to take out uh, some part of this text. Okay, take out that selected part of what the text on this. Okay, that that's why you have what uh, this max layer over here. That was how I was able to achieve that. So that is in terms of that. Moving on, what else did I do? Ctrl D to deselect. Ctrl Zero to fit to screen. Okay, moving on, I went further to okay, create another rectangle here. Okay, beneath using the color from the background, applying and placing this particular text as well. Then on I think on the final note, I applied this particular layer here, okay, which is a curve. Basically enables me to control the highlight. So I can go ahead to do that by applying a curve here and doing what playing with the highlight or what the shadow so it all depends on what you want but that was not what i did i basically 
added more highlights to this okay that was in terms of that and on the final note i went ahead to add a texture uh i would like call it a texture pattern to this okay this is it and i changed the blending to soft light so all i had to do was uh to head over to this adjustment and click on patterns and uh all i had to do please do it to check the video description you find the 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 pattern uh uh the pattern resources there okay so i click on this ad for example okay click on the ad okay it's not adding now expand this click on this and import so import the pattern look for it from the particular file part and import it to your pc then you can go ahead to do what apply it so all i have to do is just select it here and add it to my design so all i have to do moving on was to I think i played with the scale okay the scale was set 100 okay so change the blending mode and play with it so without this you have the design looking like this with this we have the design looking like this so please ladies and gentlemen be creative just try to do your own thing in your own way so ladies and gentlemen you've come to the end of this if you do find this helpful do it to like comment and share and if you're new to the channel, do it to join the community by smashing the subscribe button and turning on the post notification bell to get post notification whenever I upload new content. And for our returning subscribers, thank you guys for this watching. See you in the next.